Yo, what up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode of POO Game Review and Music. And I've got a question for you. Are you tired of going into Adrenaline to load up all of your PSP and PS1 games? Well, look no further, because I'm going to show you how to turn them into bubbles that you can access on your Vita home screen in less than five minutes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add this Adrenaline Bubbles Manager app from 1LUA and then we're going to create a few bubbles. So here I've already made GTA Vice City Stories, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do, go ahead and open up your web browser on your PC or your Mac and type in PSP Bubbles Manager. GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B. Go ahead and throw the words PS Vita in there to make it pull up quicker, perhaps. And when you hit enter on the search, you'll find right at the top this link for GitHub. You want to go ahead and click on that link, and then on this page, you will go ahead and click on the VPK download. And once you've got that downloaded, you want to go ahead and move that over to your micro SD card or however you're putting your files onto your PS Vita. I went ahead and put mine in the downloads folder on my micro SD card as I use the micro SD card adapter to play more games on my Vita. So you'll see I've moved it over to the downloads folder. We can go ahead and eject it from our computer. Now, once you're back on the Vita and you've put it back in, you're going to go to Vita Shell. Open up Vita Shell. And in Vita Shell, you want to go to your UXO file. So we'll go to the UXO file. Inside here, you want to go to downloads. That's where we put it, at least for this video. You can put it in any of these folders really and grab it, but we're going to downloads and here you'll see I have a couple things listed, but there at the bottom is Adrenaline Bubble Manager VPK. So you just want to go ahead and hit X on that and hit X again to install the package and agree to anything that it might ask you during the process of installation. I've already added it, so we're going to go back to our home screen. It's the same thing you would do if you were installing it. So once it's finished installing, go back to your home screen. Close out Vita Shell. Now you'll have Adrenaline Bubbles Manager there. It should be bouncing because it's a new app. We're going to click on Adrenaline Bubbles Manager and start it. All right, once you're inside of the Bubbles Manager, you should see a list of any PSP and PS1 games that are already on your console. I have several here to choose from. Let's go ahead and pick Tomb Raider Anniversary for the PSP. We'll hit the X button. You can name the bubble whatever you want here. I like to use the title that it's already named, the proper title. And now it's converting it to a bubble. It's installing the bubble now when you get this blank screen. Do not fret. All right, and that's done. And the way you can tell it's done here in the list is it has turned green. I'm not highlighted there. I'm here where the blue is. So let's go ahead and do a PS1 game as well. We'll do Crash Bandicoot. Hit the X button. We're going to hit the X button again twice instead of touching the screen because you can also use the buttons. Now it is converting it again to a bubble. Installing the bubble. We've successfully installed two bubbles. Let's go ahead to our home screen. Close that out. When I go down, look, there are my games. I'm going to test one out, Tomb Raider. Now you'll find that this happens when you first install the bubble 
and there is actually a workaround for it to not do that ever again if it continues to do that and I can show you in another video but we're gonna tap it once more And there you go. We've got the game right there. Let's go ahead and exit out. We'll close that. And just to show you, we're going to open up again. And it's going to load in one click. So we'll close out of there again. Let's go ahead and make sure our Crash Bandicoot's up and running. Looks like it's good to go. You will get a little bit of a pause there at the beginning as it's loading through and doing a bypassing of the normal process of opening up adrenaline and all of that. So we've made it real easy. You can go through and add as many bubbles as you want up to I believe 100 is your limit. Once you hit 100 bubbles you're gonna have to start putting them in folders and if you load up all your folders and you've hit 100 bubbles, well, you've pretty much maxed out things. You're going to have to delete some files. But that takes quite a bit of memory. So there you have it, folks. It's real easy. I just thought that y'all would want to see this, especially since this video is made for a viewer who requested the video be made. So thank you so much for requesting that video. I do want you all to take note that you have to follow all the instructions on Adrenaline. At the end of Adrenaline, when it's installed, it's going to restart your console, and then you're going to go back into Adrenaline once more to make sure that it's working properly. And that's when you'll see the list of games, and from there you can start making your bubbles. In here, you can even do things to alter the bubbles more. You can change the color of the bubble behind the picture, you could change the picture, and you could change the name. It's really a handy, super handy app. And I'm glad that you now know how to do this. In five minutes or less, we went ahead and added two games in Bubbles. Thanks for watching, y'all, and stay tuned. I got a lot more coming. Please hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out, because that surely helps me out. Have a good day, y'all. Peace. Well, that was just childhood. We were all there together, and in denial would play like it was forever. And in the tall woods, we'd stay out of the weather like it was all good. Every day we made it for pleasure. We were saying whatever.